More than a dozen students arrested after a large fight at Arsenal Tech High School on the east side. And we have some video to show you that is blurred to protect the identities of the minors involved. Our Katie Hines joins us live from Arsenal Tech with the latest. And Katie, the police response to the school was massive. Erica, it was in tonight. The road and the gates leading into the main gate here at the Arsenal Tech campus are all open and clear after a large flight prompted a lockdown here at the campus and dozens of police, firefighters and paramedics to flood into Arsenal Tech. Police say as many as 10 students were arrested for disorderly conduct. In fact, just updating that number now to 13 for refusing to stop fighting. Eight people were hurt. Three of them were taken to the hospital although all of those injuries are minor. I'm told an IMPD officer suffered minor injuries as well while responding to this scene. This all happened around 1 o'clock. Officers arrived at Tech and found a large number of students in the courtyard between buildings on campus. Police say about 10 people were directly involved in the fight, but hundreds of others crowded around and watched. Two freshmen tell me they were frightened by what they saw. One grandmother says she had no idea what was going on when she showed up to pick her grand sun up. I thought it was okay. We've had a shooting because the last time I got this bad, we did. And I'm thinking, oh God, not now. I mean, it's just the beginning of the school year. How did you feel when you saw what was going on? Kind of scared. Yeah, it was yeah. scary. And then they were trying to put us all in one room, but that just caused more of a fight. The beginning of the school year at Tech is bringing big changes for students. IPS confirms the projected enrollment here is 2,771 students. That is up significantly from the 1,960 students reported to the Indiana Department of Education last year, and it's driven by the consolidation of the high schools. Class will be in session tomorrow, and the district confirms that extra security measures will be in place, including additional police officers here at the high school. I'm told we will have an update on those plans shortly. Reporting live tonight, Katie Hines, RTV6. We also